Hello, welcome back to another room makeover. My name is Megan, and today we are working on this room, which has been my children's shared bedroom ever since we turned my son's bedroom into a playroom. They have been sleeping in here, and it is time that it gets completely refreshed and made over into a room that better suits them and their personalities, and I'm just so excited because I think this room has a lot of potential, especially with these gorgeous built-in shelves with the cabinets underneath, lots of room for storage, for toys and books and whatever else we need to store. As you can see, the handles have been ripped off. Um, the room does actually need quite a bit of work. Starting with the floors, I have been slowly sanding and refinishing all of the flooring in my house. This room will be next. Right now, my children are sharing this closet space, but it just does not seem to be quite enough space, especially as we're moving into a new season. Um, I will have to rework this and possibly get a standalone armoire to put one of their um, belongings and clothes in. Not only does the room need to be painted, but I would also like to incorporate some sort of wallpaper in here. I will be removing the ceiling fan and replacing that with a different light, as well as updating the window treatments. This house is 120 years old, so there is a lot of cracked and peeling caulk and paint. All of that needs to be refreshed throughout the room. And a previous owner actually caulked and painted the windows shut, so I will be rectifying that situation as well. Now I'm not recommending anyone sand their own floors, but this is what I use. I just rent a drum sander from Home Depot and this is what I use to sand the bulk of the flooring. We also did the guest room at the same time since both of these rooms were pretty small. And my husband and I make a pretty good team because he does all of the edges and the insides of the closet with this little floor edger that we also rent from Home Depot. After all the work that goes into sanding the floors, sealing it is always my favorite part. I'm using the Bona Nordic Seal, which has a slight white pigment to it. And it also seals the grain down. Um, and then I will go over top of it with Bonas Traffic HD. Um, I really like Bonas products, but they can be kind of tricky to apply. I feel like I've finally gotten the hang of it. And this is actually my fourth time doing this. So there is a little bit of a learning curve, I think, with it. Sort of in the background to all this, I found on Facebook Marketplace this matching twin set of Jenny Lind antique bed frames, and I thought they were amazing, but they were really beat up, especially the rails. As you can see, they're just so scratched up. I was scared one of the kids was gonna get a splinter from them. So I decided to sand them down completely, stain them and reseal them, and that was the perfect solution for this. The head and footboard still have some flaws, but I'm gonna go back later with some Restore Finish to freshen those up. I mentioned previously that I really wanted to add some wall paneling in the room. And so I found this shiplap paneling at Home Depot. It comes in four by eight length. So here I am just cutting it down into four foot lengths so that it would cover about half the height of the wall. I've seen people attach these to the wall several different ways. A lot of people use construction adhesive. I simply like to use just my pneumatic nailer. I use a half inch nail. I have plaster walls. It attaches very nicely. Um, and that's just the way that I like to do it. I also like to use this Saker contour gauge. I got this off Amazon. It helped me get all these really tricky cuts around the window. So if you have an old house with ornate trim, that would be a very handy tool to have. I've seen a lot of people use just like a one by four to go above their vertical shiplap. I personally think it looks a little too modern for my 
1903 colonial home. So I'm using something a little more decorative. And as you can see, I went absolutely to town with the paint swatches. <laughs> I really was unsure of what color I wanted to choose, what color was gonna go best with the wallpaper that I'm using. I was between a medium blue, to a dark blue, to a light blue, to a light green, to a medium green, even a cream, like sort of off-white, creamy off-white color. And all of these, paint swatches are from Farrow and Ball. I had Benjamin Moore mix it at my local Benjamin Moore store, but I do like using Farrow and Ball's colors. They don't have too many options to choose from, so it keeps it more simple for me, somebody who's always really unsure of what color I want to choose. But before I could even get started on painting, I need to get these windows open. Somebody coughed and painted them shut, which was such a fire safety issue. And once I got them open, I was relieved, but I severely damaged them. Them, uh, trying to get them open so I needed to sand them down and prime them before I could paint them again I did finally choose a paint color and it is skylight by Pharaoh and Ball now I have Benjamin Moore mix all of my paints, so they do a beautiful job of mixing Farrow and Ball colors. I trust them. And I am color drenching this room. So I am painting the baseboards, the crown molding, all of the door trim, all of the window trim, the built-in shelving, everything the same color. than I thought it would be. Okay. No, I don't need help. Oh, it's the door. And in the midst of all this, I just decided to take the doors off. Basically, the hinges, the doorknobs, the window sashes are all original brass hardware in the room. And I decided if I was gonna go in, I was gonna go all in. So I'm gonna remove all the hardware and restore it. Oof. So as you can see, a lot of it has been painted over and just not kept up over the years. So I did a little Google search and I saw that if you boiled the brass hardware in vinegar, it would separate the bond between the paint and the metal. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, look, it really just strips the paint off. That came right off of that piece. This one looks completely Clean. I'll probably just have to scrub these little pieces off um, with some steel wool, but I can't believe this really worked really well. Okay, well needless to say that that worked really well. That was very effective. <laughs> um, I just took a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend and shined them up. So yeah, it works.
I've had the pleasure to work with Arta and Co on this project, so they kindly sent me this wallpaper and I am so excited because I feel like their style just goes with the era of my home. I could have picked any print for this room, but this was definitely the most perfect one. And I have to shout out to their quality because I got samples from some other companies and let's just say they're not all made the same. As soon as I got started on the wallpaper, my light arrived. I ordered this from Amazon and it was so affordable and honestly the best quality light I've ever, ever ordered. And I've ordered from some high-end places. I was actually really shocked by this. But back to the wallpaper, Arts and Coast wallpaper is peel and stick. And I've actually heard from other sources that this is harder to apply than pasted wallpaper. And I'm here to tell you that, no, that's not true. It was very easy to apply. I really enjoyed working with it. And I even had some funky, weird places like above the built-in shelves. And I was worried about this area, but it was so easy. This was actually the easiest area. So I'm no longer intimidated by wallpaper and I'll definitely be using it again in this house. I was able to use this green armoire that I upcycled a few years ago for my daughter's clothes. Even though they're little and they are sharing the same room, I do want them to feel like they have their own individual spaces for their things. And so my son will continue to use the closet in here, which is perfect for him since he's older and he likes to get himself dressed and fold his own clothes and all of that. Last step was to hang some curtain rods and curtains in here. And let's take one last look at the before. I put more time and effort into this room than any other room I've ever worked on. It was truly a labor of love knowing it was for my children. And now the room just has this really pleasant and almost magical feel. And I'm just so happy I was able to provide this for my children. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.